World leaders, including President Joe Biden, gathering in Normandy, France today to commemorate the 80th anniversary of D-Day. Yeah, the Allied forces invasion eventually led to the liberation of France and helped defeat the Nazis in World War II. ABC's Rena Roy has more. An emotional day in Normandy, France, to commemorate one of the most pivotal moments in modern history, D-Day. June 6, 1944, 80 years ago, Allied forces stormed this beach, an invasion that helped defeat Nazi Germany during World War II. President Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden joining other world leaders to meet with remaining survivors, then laying a wreath at the American cemetery, paying their respects to the more than 4,400 who lost their lives, many of them Americans. French President Emmanuel Macron presenting 11 U.S. veterans with France's Legion of Honor. Biden at one point appearing to wipe away tears. More emotions as fighter jets flew overhead in a missing man formation. The men who fought here became heroes. In an exclusive interview with World News Tonight anchor David Muir, Biden said important lessons from D-Day apply today. What do you think these American heroes can teach us right now about meeting this moment? Stand up. Tell the truth. Serve your country. Many of them died sinking in the land come across that beach as long as it, it's just astounding, it's astounding. But what it says to me is how critical alliances are, how critical alliances are for our security. Biden comparing that fight against the Nazis to Russia's present war with Ukraine, saying democracy is more at risk around the world than at any point since the end of World War II. To surrender to bullies, to bow down to dictators is simply unthinkable. Were we to do that, it means we'd be forgetting what happened here in these hollowed beaches. Make no mistake, we will not bow down. Ukrainian President Zelensky was in Normandy for the anniversary events and is expected to sit down with Biden in Paris on Friday. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.